Yeah, I think before you can have swagger, you need to have a chip on your shoulder. Um, I think you know, having the chip on the shoulder eventually leads to swagger if you can find success in the middle. So uh, there's no doubt that's, that's been part of the recipe for every Lehigh team I've ever coached or really any, any team I've ever been on or coached. And um, you know, so it, it starts with the recruiting process of finding guys that may have been slighted in the recruiting process you know, haven't been necessarily in your rankings or, uh, you know, recruiting rundown rankings and um, would, would thrive in a situation where they get to compete against those guys. And um, that goes into our scheduling and, you know, trying to, to play the best in order to beat the best. But um, I think that the, you know, kind of anger and, and um, frustration with, uh, you know, maybe, you know, not getting the respect that, uh, that we believe that we deserve um, you know, that, that leads to us having that incredible chip on our shoulder. Um, and then if we can find that success along the way, get some wins, um, I think that develops into swagger. And, you know, I, I think there's some negative connotations with the word swagger, but really what it is, is it's just about confidence for us. Um, and, you know, not that we're telling our guys to go, you know, be in your face and uh, be disrespectful. Uh, I think it gets perceived as that a lot, but really it's just about, um, having that confidence to go out and, and really perform and sometimes overachieve. Yeah, Craig Chick is an is a absolute warrior. Um, he, he is, you know, that guy that, you know, you're talking about chip on the shoulder. I mean, you know, this guy woke up, you know, every single morning, you know, through his, you know, elementary school days and middle school and high school days with a chip on his shoulder. He came out of the womb with a, with a chip on his shoulder. I mean, um, he feels slighted in everything that he does, and that motivates him to train at the level that he does, to play at the level that he does, and he's on this, this ultimate uh, quest for respect. And the beauty about Craig Chick is that it's not just about him personally g uh, gaining respect. It's about the team concept um, and you know, ca uh, carrying others with him uh, on that quest to, to earn respect. So. Uh, very team-oriented guy, uh, phenomenal leader, junior captain for us. We've had very few of those over the, over my years at Lehigh, and uh, you know when it comes to to being a competitive guy, uh, I don't know that there's anybody better in our program. Yeah, Ian Strain is an absolute warrior. We're really fortunate to be able to get him back for a fifth year. Um, he had a, a rough go early on uh, his freshman year. He, he lost that entire year. You know, we call it injury, but it really was illness. Um, you know, he, he left for fall break um, and, and, or excuse me, for the holiday break. And he uh, developed this, this heart condition uh, called myocarditis. And, um, you know, he was in the hospital for an extended period of time. Um, nobody really knew where it came from or, you know, when it was going to go away. And, um, you know, there was a time where we thought his career was going to be over and that he was going to be done with athletics, period. Um, you know, but fortunately, he was able to work with the doctors. Uh, they were able to figure out, catch it early enough to, uh, you know, to get the treatment that he need. You know, he had to basically shut himself completely down from all athletic activity for 12 months. Um, and he came back uh, as a sophomore, was able to get back into lacrosse, uh, came back, and, and over the last three years had, has had a tremendous impact not only as a player uh, but as a leader in our program. Um, and then, you know, went through the waiver process for the Patriot League and for the NCAA, we're able to get him back. Um, and now, you know, just that much more mature, um, you know, two-time captain for us, uh, first-line midfielder, an absolute warrior for us, and he's just the heart and soul of our team. Yeah, face-offs are huge. I mean, especially with the way that the current rules are. Um, possession's the name of the game. If you have it, then you know you're going to give yourself a great chance to win. And uh, you know I think the the Patriot League over the last few years has been the best face-off league in the country, without a doubt. And um, you, know, you just look at the stats. I think we had at one point last year five guys in the top ten in the country. Um, I mean that that's significant. So um, you know a few years ago we thought we had one of our the best and most talented teams that we had, but we struggled at the face-off. Um, and we were a below 500 team, so it tells you how important it was. Um, we put the emphasis into recruiting that position, starting with Connor Gaffney. Um, and, and as a freshman, he showed up in a big way. And, you know, we're expecting even more from him as a sophomore this year. Uh, we feel like we have some reinforcements coming behind him. And we just know that it's such an important part of this game. But uh, Connor's been a huge piece of that. But also the guys around him, you know, we feel like we have some of the best ground ball guys around. 
Um, you know, guys like Craig Chick, there's going to be a freshman that you'll hear from named Teddy Leggett, uh, some other guys that uh, just do a great job getting the ball off the deck. Uh, so if it's not Connor picking it up, hopefully those guys will come up with it, and our face-off game will be that much better.